father always used to say I had wanderer's legs. We all wonder, what's out there? But for me, it was more than that. A stranger in my own world. I set out to find my path. Through all my travels, through all the trials of the unknown, I came to realize that there was really only one thing I'd been looking for. A place to call. what's going on youtube welcome back to some more star citizen and if you saw the trailer i put that trail like i put the trailer in the ahead of this video for a reason because i finally found my ship that i can call home and we're not taking it out and doing anything crazy i just wanted to talk about the ship a little bit and walk around it and show you what i and sh show the interior of it and then kind of talk about what i plan on using the ship for but this is obviously the anvil carrick and honestly this ship doesn't need any introduction everybody knows what the carrick is and, and i from what i hear it's one best in show how many times everybody knows what the ship is and knows how great it is but i never really gave it the light of day until now um so i give a little bit of a rundown i ended up ccuing my uh, 600i even though i said i might keep it but um with the fury um let, let let me rephrase the fury and this pairing or pairing the fury with the 600i presented some glaring issues to me very very quickly and it's only because i mean yeah i could have waited for the for the rework but i'm not trying to wait for something like that right um but <laughs> the the elevator on the 600i was really tiny and there was always like for some reason the fury just was like gripping on any kind of mag thing like crazy like really 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 hard so i ended up melting the fury because the tent i actually don't need it anymore and um i ccu'd all the way up to well to the 600i or from the 600i to the m2 m2 to the carrick and now that i have gone up to the Carrick, I'm not going anywhere anywhere bigger. I did or my original plan was going up to like an Odyssey or Polaris, but after flying the Carrick around a little bit, I don't plan on going any bigger. But this is finally a ship I feel like I can call home. Because 
there's so much potential and so much I can do with it. I can hold me. I can hold like a shuttle or a snub. I can hold a ground vehicle in the garage, like about Ursa sized, and I can live in it pretty much. There's, I can call cargo. There's a bunch of interior space. I can carry a bunch of people in it if we want to crew it up and get people into turrets and stuff like that. The ship with how much fuel it has and all that stuff, I basically would never have to go to a port except to refuel. And that is awesome. So let's jump to a spot where I think I can be left alone for a few minutes. That should be good. So, the first thing I wanted to show you guys about the Carrick, about, or my favorite feature of the Carrick, and honestly, you're probably going to see it just as I turn around. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> do you see, do you, do you see that on my screen right now? The Drake Buccaneer. There's a reason why, oh, well, okay, it's not the reason why I have the Buccaneer, but I heard about it, and the Buccaneer was supposed to go up to a Centucky Eye, and I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. We'll go up to the technical deck so you can see. I can prove it. Buccaneer fits in the in the shuttle bay, like perfectly. Obviously, I gotta park it a little like on a, like a forty five degree angle kind of thing, but it fits in the shuttle bay perfectly. Hangers or the hangers able to close. It doesn't move. It doesn't like go crazy. Like move or clip through the, the door at all. I... Oh, now that I said that, it moved. And that's annoying me. Either, but I don't hear it. Like, it's not banging around. It's not obvious. The only thing I did have to do was take off either the size 4 on top or the spindle mount up top. So I have... There's no top mount of weapons on that thing. But it fits that way. It's still got arrow DPS. And that's enough. That, that's enough. So it's it's got a good fighter um combat deployment option on the carrick with the buccaneer and uh yeah i'm i don't know how long i'll leave it like that i'll probably just go down back down to a pisces or even a 100i or something like that and just leave it like that <laughs> but i do want to prove that i i can i can hold a fighter in the, in the carrick i really can but with how much this carrick has like, I believe this is the, the drone area. Well, when drones become a thing, I'll be able to deploy drones or whatever from this area. And I think these, yeah, the drone operator seat, you can operate the drones from here. That's really freaking cool. I'm really excited about that. And, uh, let's see, what else, what, what, what else is up here? Like, let, let's actually open some doors and see what else is up here. What is this? This... What is this? Is this like like a workshop? Like a lab kind of thing? What? We'll call this maintenance. <laughs> Let's do that. And then we have a second bridge. Also, here's all those escape pods. You got six, six escape pods here. I believe there might be more in the ship. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, we got a second bridge. This makes me feel like we're flat out just... I don't know. I, I don't know what to explain how to explain it like oh, like halo-esque normandy-esque i don't know you know you got seats here i believe these actually control the remote turrets i believe that's support seat uh that's a gunner seat and then you have basically the captain seat you know what i even though you can fly the ship here I honestly think this is kind of like an observation kind of thing. You could be the captain in your dress blues at parade rest and uh, just watch as you explore, you know, the stars, I guess. Really nice. It just 
this this ship immerses immerses me quite a bit and then we have another elevator here to go down to our lower bridge and we're back to where we started and then we have two coil pilot seats and a pilot seat and, uh, and the hab stations i actually didn't know this until like yesterday <laughs> this was the captain's quarters i could never find it. i'm like does the character have a captain's quarters oh yeah it does where the hell is it i always walk right by it so we got a little our little desk here is there a button here where you can turn stuff off no it doesn't look like it does anything right now i know there's a button on on the hammerhead's desk where you can turn stuff off i've learned that the hard way but uh uh, and then we have our bedroom here. And we got got our little bed and stuffs and things, and we got our shower and toilet and stuff. I can't wait to see reflections on mirrors. The doors are a little slow, not as slow as like MSR, but they're a little slow. And then we got we'll do the mess hall first. And here are the mess or dining area. Just chill and relax, eat some food, talk about stuff, make some food, and all kinds of stuff. Is there actually like, there's not actually like a food maker processor. I wonder if this eventually will open, just like in the Redeemer, where it's like, it's got like food and drink and stuff. Same with this one here. That'd be really cool. And recreation. We got ourselves a pool table. Here's the crew quarters with looks like five beds. And then we have the bathroom for the crew. If I have a crew. Right now, I, t I really don't. I'm more of a solo player and that's why that's this is the biggest swap. I'll go because I'm a solo player. What am I? What else am I going to do with a, with a bigger ship? And then we have the crew toilets. Man, when space pooping becomes a thing, I am ready. I am ready. I'll mark my territory in every single toilet, every single one. All right. And honestly, the best thing about the ship is the medical bay aside from the, the the shuttle bay is the medical bay now this thing will get downgraded at some point where you will not be able to do it but you can actually set this bed as a spawn point so while i'm out and about with this ship this ship is going to be my spawn point like let's say i deploy it randomly somewhere or i fly it randomly somewhere come up on a bounty or some combat or whatever i'm like all right let's deploy the buccaneer i get all the buccaneer do my thing i die well, I don't have to worry about claiming my Carrick, because I can just spawn back on it. And that's what I'll do. So, if I wanted to transfer my imprint, I could. I'm not going to do it right now, because I'm actually going to put the Carrick away, because there's a couple other things I want to do t uh, today. Without the Carrick. But, that's an awesome, awesome, awesome feature. That I know will be leaving the Carrick at some point. I don't actually know. I actually don't think I've seen CIG say anything about it leaving the, the Carrick. So let me know in the comments down below if that is true. Like, I, who, who told me that, I do believe. But, like, I just want to confirm if that's true or not. And then we got, like, you know, the doctor's office and stuff. There's some observation. In, and, uh, you know, obviously the supply room, whatever. Which makes this ship also really good for medical gameplay. If you wanted to pair it with the uh, the rescue Pisces, that's awesome. Or honestly, the regular Pisces and just get them back up in your uh, med bed here. That's dope. We have a little maintenance ladder here, which I actually just learned about that yesterday. If the door will open, it's not. So I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave it alone. But yeah, this is, this is a maintenance ladder over there in case I don't know if the elevators don't work i guess let me walk over around here and then we got an elevator to take us to other other decks of the ship we'll go back up to the cartography deck actually no we will go to the technical deck just to kind of give perspective of where we're at so we're back at the shuttle bay 
The only thing we haven't seen is literally over here on this on this part of the ship. If we walk around, we end up going to where we can open the bay again. And I'll open it up just to just to really show you guys that it, it fits. It fits. See nothing crazy. I'll close the hangar. Oh, it nudges a little bit, but that's nothing too crazy. Boom. Buccaneer in. And that hallway I actually just wraps around to it. So. Oh. Maybe I did miss a little bit more. I think this actually goes to the... Yep. It goes to the turrets. These are the best turrets in the game. Aesthetic-wise, at least. Like, these... No, I, let me let me rephrase. These are the best turrets in the game for perspective of view, not power. We only got two rhinos on these turrets. When, obviously, Redeemer turrets have, you know, two 85Bs or two size 5 weapons. And the hammerheads are quad size 4s. So, not in terms of power and DPS. But, to be completely honest with you... These have oh like I don't, I don't I don't know what's going on with my camera right now but in terms of view I don't know what why is it doing that because now I can't move my I don't know maybe my, maybe my controls got a little screwy but in terms of the view purely it's fantastic just a little dome around and being able to get fields of fire like you can get a good a good cone of fire off these turrets it's really nice like i i've i've come against a fully player crude uh, character before and that's terrifying I've been in a fully crewed character before, and I felt powerful. So, um, I think that just goes across, or is this also engineering? I've actually never been back there. Oh my god, I've always just walked this here. I'm like, oh hey, look, engines. I've never, I've never seen this door. Ooh, oh, there's another elevator here, upper and lower engineering. Oh my god. This is cool. Another ladder so we can climb up and down, I guess. Whoa, this is a door? It's my quantum drive. <laughs> That's a TS2, by the way. Uh, Okay, I, I've never thought I'd... I, I've just never been in here. I didn't think I could go in here just yet. I'm... Or never really thought about it. I think about flying the ships, not being in the engineering part of the ships. Is this all like component component housing then? Oh yeah. We got a radar. Shield generator. Which I am probably gonna put on some FR eighty sixes on this thing when I have money. Um Ah, dude! Power plant! I'm gonna close these back up. Another shield generator there. Life support and stuff there. I'm- I'm into it. Uh, cooler I'm guessing. This is a fuel tank. I'm guessing this is another cooler and fuel tank. Oh, engineer access only? Oh, I can't actually do anything with it. Dude! 
I did. I never knew this was accessible back here. I always wondered where the stuff was. I never just. I never realized this was uh, this was this accessible. That's awesome. That's awesome. See, I learn something new every day. And then, so yeah, we're back in this in this connector. And then we have the other turret there on the starboard side. Somebody took a shot at me. Am I the only one that heard that shot? Let me in my seat. Come on, power button. Why is there a Merlin sitting here? I am playing no games, I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care. Back to where I was at. <laughs> I love I'm like, I heard a shot. I want to shoot something. So, yeah, we're back out here and this was all engineering and stuff like that. So let's go up to the cartography deck. Yeah, I'm spending 20 to 30 minutes just walking around talking about the, the, uh, the Carrick. And why this thing is awesome. So, here is the cart cartography deck. Obviously, you could see the whole... I'm guessing this is all of Stanton. I believe. I believe that's a Stanton one right there. Kind of, you know, it's supposed to be like a navigational kind of thing. You know, you know, silent tar uh, cartographer, whatever. But, uh, honestly, it's a great room for meetings. We'll call it that. And then we go over here. Oh, we can walk around. We have... Another escape pod here. I believe there's another escape pod on that side. I don't exactly know what these are. I don't know what those are. But we also have the airlock. So we can walk into space. An EVA here. But we do have gravity out on top of the uh, shuttle bay. Which is awesome. Just for looking and walking around. I'm not going to do any crazy EVA with it, but. And then, yeah, that's just the, car the cartography deck. And then all we, all we got left is really the sub deck. So the sub deck is pretty much where you hold all your cargo and stuff like that. We also have the aft turret back here. The aft, I didn't actually. I thought that was a remote turret, not a not a not a man turret. But yeah, we got the aft turret to go down below here. I believe this also wraps around to the other side as well. Yes, it does. What are these? I don't know what those are. Drop pods? I don't know. And then we have all the cargo area. They're like segmented a little bit. So you get cargo, a cargo hold here. Another cargo hold here. 
Another cargo hold here. And basically, we're at near the entrance of the ship. So we have a docking collar here, which is really, really nice for uh, getting out of the ship on EVA. Especially if you're going to go, like, let's just, it's, for example, like a reclaimer mission or an 890 mission. This is a really nice in and out for it instead of using the ramp or the top end, uh, exit. And then we have the garage, which I actually don't have anything in here right now because of 30Ks. I was trying to load up an Ursa here to show you, like, oh, yeah, I'll have an Ursa here for, like, if I want to tackle bunker missions, I can drop the, drop the Ursa down and let's go. You know, but 30Ks, I just wanted to show the Buccaneer specifically in there because the Buccaneer fits in that hangar. Um, but, yeah, just deploying some kind of ground vehicle. We can have a couple Cyclones, have an Ursa. Actually, I think you can get two Ursas in here. And uh, whatever you could really think of. Honestly... I might be able to fit a Nova in here, awkwardly. Not correctly, but awkwardly, if that makes any sense. Eh, maybe not, maybe not in terms of height. I don't know, I wonder if the Storm will fit in here. The new Storm that's in concept now. That'd be cool if it'll fit in here. But yeah, just any kind of ground complement here. But this is an exploration ship. It's not a combat ship. And I think it's perfect for Pyro, and when we get more systems in the game for literally exploring those things, I can have my whole crew complement, or just me solo, with you know having a vehicle in the bay, having a fighter or shuttle in the shuttle bay, being able to respawn on this thing, not having to worry about really going and refueling all the time. It's this is going to be the ship that comes with me to Pyro and all the other systems with whether it's the Buccaneer or Pisces in the uh, in the shuttle bay with what I can do with this thing I basically don't have to worry about going back to a station or planet side unless I need supplies or refueling and that's what I plan on doing I wanted a ship I can genuinely live in and keep a couple other things on it with me that way, okay, I want to do bounties. I don't need to go and put this back, spawn my saber, or blah, 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 and go do bounties. I could take this with me. I can get about 30, 30K from the bounty, like where you would drop out of Quantum, deploy the Buccaneer or Pisces or whatever, and go and do it. And that's awesome. Um, yeah, the Pisces isn't the best for bounties, but I can do VHRTs in the Pisces. As long as they don't keep... I still have yet to see a Reclaimer on VHRTs, but if, if they keep that keep it that way VHRTs are going to be different we'll call it that but that is the anvil carrick my anvil carrick oh come on can i there we go you see that name the anvil carrick well one nut expanse because i get a normandy slash rasanate vibe it just it it gives me the same kind of vibe as those ships, or same similar uses. I mean, obviously the Rasenate is a gunship. This is more of an exploration ship, and that's why it kind of remind gives me that Normandy vibe as well. So that is the Anvil Carrick. This ship is going to really complement me, especially as the game gets bigger. And I, I found my home. My space home. It's my house. Thank you for walking around my house with me. <laughs> so. um, But yeah. You know, I, I think it'll be cool. I don't know if like modules are coming out. For this thing or not. I hear yes. I hear no. Um, But uh, everybody. I know everybody knows what the Carrick looks like. What the Carrick has to offer and stuff like that i just wanted to talk about it because now this one is mine like this one is mine i've always i've flown a character a few times i'm like yeah it's cool but it's big blah 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 but after i realized i wanted a home i the the 600 i with i thought was going to fill that that spot but i needed something bigger to hold some stuff in it like vehicles and stuff like that and i thought going like almost corvette capital class with like a Polaris or an Odyssey or whatever, I can hold my saber in it. Nah, this is I think this is a happy medium between the two because I don't know how long I'll be able to fly a bigger ship by myself. 
So I'm going to wrap things up here. Again, this is the Anvil Carrick, the one that expands. And I cannot wait for this game to get bigger so I can really, really, really put this ship through its paces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video and around the verse. Alrighty, have a good one.